let us try to study something about Indian debt market. This is a market where fixed income securities of various types and features are issued and traded. The fixed income securities are issued by central and state governments, municipal corporations, government bodies and commercial entities like banks, public sector units, non-banking financial institutions and public limited companies. The different types of instrument traded in Indian debt market include zero coupon bonds, treasury bills, tax-free bonds, sovereign bonds, uh, various different other types of bonds, debentures, floating rate bonds and commercial paper along with certificate of deposits which uh, the last two are instruments of money market. The Indian debt market plays an important role in the economic growth of a country by allowing government to raise money to finance and sponsor different development activities in a nation. It helps in efficient mobilization and allocation of financial resources in the economy. The dated securities or bonds issued in the debt market helps the issuing entities meet up their medium and long term financial needs. The Indian broad market is broadly classified into government securities market and corporate debt market. The latter is further classified into public sector undertakings and private sector bonds. The two regulators in debt market are Reserve Bank of India and Security Exchange Board of India. RBI regulates and facilitates the government bonds and other securities on behalf of government and usually regulates the money market activities while SEBI regulates corporate bonds which include public sector undertakings and bonds floated by private sector in capital market. Next we come to the secondary uh, market of uh, debt market which is further classified into wholesale debt market and retail debt market. Wholesale debt market includes RBI, banks, financial institutions, primary dealers, insurance companies, mutual fund houses, corporates and foreign institutional investors as the participants and investors. Whereas the retail debt market involves participation by individual investors provident funds, pension funds, private trusts, non-banking financial institutions and other legal entities in addition to the wholesale investors classes. <clears throat> the transactions in wholesale market are carried out either through an outright sale or purchase and a repo rate. An outright purchase or sale is one where no intention of reversal of trade at the time of execution of trade exists. The different types of debt securities issued by corporates include partly and fully convertible debentures, non-convertible debentures, secured premium notes, debentures with warrants, uh, deep discount bonds, public sector undertaking bonds, tax fee and tax free bonds. The investor should be aware of the risk associated with the debt market like the default risk that is non receipt or delay in receipt of interest or principal, price risk, interest rate risk, settlement risk and reinvestment risk uh, which is interest payment earning lower returns when reinvested. 